First of all, I want to thank uh, Kelly and Assistant Francis for his invitation. It's uh, really good to get out in the public and be able to talk to the people about some of my views are and what changes I'm going to make. Um, I am a Democrat, I'm St. Joe County Sheriff. I've been on the department for 38 years. Um, is the County Police Department efficient right now? It's efficient, but can it be better? Sure it can. We've got a lot of programs right now that started, um, but I really think these programs should really be reviewed and a lot of changes can be made. Um, we've got a lot of good officers out there that, can, that do a very good job out there. But my main goal is to try to get some more people on the street. I know everybody says that that's one of the main uh, topics most uh, politicians say. You know, they want to get more money, more jobs, and more cars on the street as far as the police department. That's what I can do, and I really believe it can be done. Um, I've got a pretty good working relationship with the uh, people on the common County Council and also the uh, commissioners. Um, and I've been involved in the budgets for the last eight years under Sheriff for County Rick. Um, I know about the budgets. I've worked on every division, or at least administrated every division of the St. Joe County Police Department. Um, I really think there's things that need to be changed. Um, we've got, like I say, very good personnel in that department, um, but the programs need to be looked at. There's a lot of areas out there. This area has grown so much. I mean, uh, who would have ever thought when I started in 1972 that Granger would be like sitting in its own? I mean, it's, it's grown immensely. Do we have enough cars out there? No, we don't. Can I get more cars out there? Yes, I can. Like I say, I've worked in all divisions. We've got good people in those divisions, but I think those divisions need to be looked at. They become stale. I mean, it's been the same way for a lot of years. And I think we need to make some changes, some definite changes. I, like I said, I've been on the department 38 years. I spent the majority of my time in the detective bureau 21 years. I did death of investigations for the county before the inception of the special crimes unit for approximately 12 years. So I know all the divisions, I know what needs to be done, and I know what I can do to change those things. I need all you folks' help. Um, Actually, when I look back, when I started in 1972, my goal was to always become the sheriff. I worked my way up the ranks, starting in the, in the jail with everybody else who was on our department. I actually, I look at myself in the mirror every day and I find myself being in training for this job. I've trained myself well for 38 years and I'm asking now for your support. If you look at my qualifications, you'll see I'm a very, very qualified candidate for the candidate sheriff. So once again, Thanks to Kelly, thanks to people for common sense, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thing is, we need to know now 
that we can make a difference. And I really believe that I'm, I'm the new voice with the new vision, with the new direction, in order to help out, to help the community better itself within the structuring of the, the, the men on the road. They're, they're definitely doing an awesome job with what they have. They're, they're awesome, and, I, and I, I, I give them kudos all day because the men on the road that are working out, they're working definitely hours and hours and hours, just countless hours, and they're not complaining. And I thank them for doing what they're doing. You all, thank, thank you. Thank you, Kelly, and thank you, citizens, for the opportunity to speak here briefly this evening. I made a decision to run for public office based on the belief that a public servant should never ask what is the best for themselves, but instead, what is the best for the voters who have placed their trust in them. No official should consider the position one of prestige, power, or lucrative benefit that could be derived from the elected office. Past and present sheriffs, and the present sheriff included, have attempted to pocket both tax collections and salary benefits. Although it's not illegal in itself, it demonstrates how greed can take over. The sheriff is in a unique position with many resources to help the community, not take from them. Thus, if elected, I would return 50% of the sheriff's salary to public service, both in current and future programs. I reject the current pension. This program will send the sheriff in the very lucrative retirement with a weekly paycheck of approximately $2,000 a week, or a little over $100,000 a year. A retired sheriff living another 20 years or more will collect several million dollars. There is no public official that's worth that. Judges who spend their entire life on the bench will only receive a fraction of that amount. I'm running for an open office, and I believe that an open office begins at the candidate level. I have here tonight my past five years of tax returns and my voter records for the past 40 years. A good candidate will have been a responsible voter. I reject continued, continued tax increases. As far back as 1994, I've uh, shown a letter that I provided over at the table. To me, having a say in taxes around here is similar to asking six wolves and one sheep, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> Yet voters still return these people to office simply because they put out the most election signs. If elected, I promise not to take 18 months to investigate a case that could have been completed in less than two years by the current administration. Airplane crashes are investigated quicker than that. And I refer to the paintball incident. I totally reject the explanation given by the current administration as half truths and at the best, only baloney. I would eliminate four positions in the county jail, including the warden and assistant warden a savings of $200,000 a year. And I would not treat the jailers as merit employees with merit rules and not merit pay. They're civilians. And all people would be retreated with dignity and respect. You know, going through 400 special deputies in the course of this administration is just unacceptable. I provided uh, information this evening on my qualifications. I think it's diverse and extensive to the printed material I have over there and access to my website. In my 30 years of law enforcement, I've always put people ahead of myself. Thank you very much.